Hello again, welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. Um, again, many, many thank you. Thank yous to David Urban Viking, Urban Viking Ale Reviews on YouTube. We're going to go with another beer that he sent me. And it's the, the Ale of Leaven from Loch Lomond Brewery. I love that name, Loch Lomond. It's proper Scottish. Proper Scottish name. Right. Let's get this beer open. Just a black cap on there. Using my Great British Beer Festival glass. And I had a feeling this beer was going to come out with a hint of red in it. The reason being, it had a nice red label. And the beer in the bottle just looked a nice reddish colour but look at that it is 4.5% ABV it's got a nice one finger head plenty of carbonation stream in there from the side of the glass really nice clean looking glass of beer let's get the nose Oh, there's hints of toffee in here. It's a kind of red grape. Hints of spice. Oof. I've got to get into this beer. Thank you, Dave. Thanks for sending. Cheers. That is, that is a lovely glass of beer. That is lovely. Tell you what I am finding though, the aroma was quite big. The aroma was quite big and the tastes that I mentioned in the aroma, if that makes any sense whatsoever. How I described the aroma is exactly the same as it is in the taste, but it's kind of mellow just a little bit. It's not, sometimes it's bigger in the taste. I like that. I like the fact that it's a big nose to the beer. It's a very big nose to this beer. It's a thicker, it's a thicker mouthfeel. I've just just drank the uh, Bonnie and Bitter, which is very very light. Um, yeah, very very light in the mouthfeel. It was, it was more or less like. A really really refreshing beer this is still refreshing but it kind of got a little bit of a thickness um, in the beer it's, it's a thicker beer but not massive but not massive there's hints of burnt caramel in there there's that red grape just a hint of that red grape There's a sweet malt in there, which quickly gets taken away by a nice, kind of curvaceous, um, hoppy bitterness. The finish is quite dry. It's a dry finish. I really, I'm, I'm really, really enjoying this. This could be something which, and the, as I'm talking, the bitterness is just, it just keeps going and going and going. But in a, not in a big, big style of way. I mean, not in a 
an IPA way, not an American IPA way. It, it just is soft, it's subtle, but it's a nice level of bitterness that just carries on for about 10 seconds after you've taken a mouthful of the beer. Mm. That's nice. The the carbonation also fizzes on your tongue, so it really does help to get all of them flavours out in the beer. And wow, it's just, it's really quite a magical combination. It really is. The beer itself, I've already mentioned this, but look at, look at how clear that glass of beer is. That is very clear that the head has kept this kept itself all the way down as I've been drinking <coughs> let's spin this beer up, let's get the aroma again I love to do this when I've drunk the beer down to about halfway you really can give it a rigorous shake round to pow and that really does, that really does hit you the aroma burnt caramel, burnt toffee it's one of them beers that you start off with, you, you, you review it, and then the excitement starts to build, and and the smile on my face, I can, it's one of them beers where I just can't get rid of it. It, it just, um, I can feel I can feel the excitement building, and I am just loving this beer from the Loch Lomond Brewery, and thank you, Dave, for for sending because it is a real treat. Hmm. That is very, very nice. Very, very nice. Here's the story of the Ale of Leaven. History. The Vale of Leaven takes its name from the River Leaven that connects Loch Lomond to the River Clyde. The purity of its water led to the establishment of a major textile industry along its five mile banks that existed from 1715 to 1960. One of the best known companies was Croftingia, who merged with Levenfield in 1860 to form Alexandria Works, the largest of the companies, affectionately known as the Craft to Locals. Lothlamon Brewery now stands on the side, site of the old Levenfield Works. Fantastic. Tasting notes. I've not read these tasting notes before. Um, I, I don't like to read them before a review because I like my own opinion on the beer. But here's the tasting notes. Handcrafted and amber in colour, the Ale of Leaven is brewed using Maris Otter and Crystal Malts combined with a blend of whole hop flowers to produce an easy drinking beer with a spicy aroma and a full rounded bitterness. That is quite a that is quite a vague um, tasting out there but there we go. www.lochlemonbrewery.com Check them out. That oh there's a picture of the brewery on the banks of the River Clyde as they mentioned and there's the name of the brewery. Check them out, Loch Lomond Brewery. Certainly check this out. I'm going to give a quick mention to Bonnie and Bitter because at this stage I still don't know whether I'm going to post the review. Um, this is the Bonnie and Bitter. I'm, I've got to be honest, I reviewed it earlier, I've got to be honest, after drinking it after the review and kind of during the review, I was looking for a sell-by date and I couldn't find one. I don't think this was in its sell-by date and it's very unfortunate because I think it was a very citrusy drink when it was fresh, but it's unfortunate, it's just come, I've only had it within three weeks of David sending. It's a bit of a shame that I. It, it was a well. It was it was it was just past. It was past its best by quite a bit, to be honest. So 
I'm probably not going to post it. I do apologise to Dave. I did review it. I might stick it. I, I might stick it up in in a couple of years' time or something. I don't know. But that was Bonnie and Bitter. Check a fresh bottle of that up because it was very good. But um, just a bit of a shame. Bit of a shame. But never mind. Anyway, rating for the Ale of Leaven. That is a superb glass of beer. That is absolutely superb. Nine. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Really, really nice. Really, really nice. Thank you, David, for sending. www.lochlamonbrewery.com. Check them out. You can email me at realguide.googlemail.com. Facebook is facebook.com forward slash real craft beer and Twitter is twitter.com forward slash real today. But thanks for watching. Put your comments in the comments box, I'll always answer. Subscribe if you like and cheers.